Hello my peeps, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are not new, if you are new, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastical, magical, like unicorn-like day. And if not, that's always, always okay too. But I'm always over here hoping that your day does turn around for you. Um, welcome to a, another wonderful segment, episode, whatever you want to call it, of Triple T story time, rant time. Yeah. Oh no, Triple T time, story time, rant time, Tuesday slash Thursday. And I could just say Thursday because this will be uploaded on Thursday. But this is currently Wednesday, 10.38. I am doing this video on a Wednesday instead of Thursday because, I don't know, my body's feeling a little strange. I woke up, my throat was feeling a little strange. I'm doing a little salsa. I don't know. Uh, my I haven't really like gone into detail of this, but like my jaw, cause I have like arthritis of uh, the jaw, like both you know sides or whatever of my jaw. So uh, most of the time my jaw will like sometimes just feel tired or whatever. And, you know my ears, you know have uh, pain and like this ringing of my ears sometimes stuff like so like it's a whole thing but normally like it's like on a lower scale but today like it just like my jaws was stuff feeling tired they were tired and hurting my ears you know was like hurting a little bit too so you know you know, just wake up some days and it's just like your body just feels like unbalanced like off the like, you know Maybe you're coming down with something like getting sick or whatever, but your body just feels it moves and it feels different than like you're used to it moving. So I don't know. Hopefully I'm not coming down with something. I woke up feeling pretty like ugh, but you know I'm feeling pretty okay right now. But you know that's not going to be the same. Not necessarily going to be the same case tomorrow. So. Let us film this today. So, in case tomorrow is like you thought, I can at least still upload this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and today, because I was feeling like kind of icky or whatever, I made some tea or whatever because I was like, probably if my throat is trying to do a little sub -sub, I don't know, probably should stay away from like uh, acidic. Like, well, extremely acidic, I should say. Drinks like my typical, like, apple juice or orange juice that I'll have in the morning. So, I made sweet tea. I know I don't like have ice in my drinks, but the tea was extremely warm, obviously. You know, I just, I had just made it before I went to class ever. So, I have tea today for triple tea time, story time, rant time, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And so... It's really good. I mean, I it looks pretty light. I don't know if you can tell, but typically I like my tea a little bit darker. But it tastes really good, so I'm gonna just leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, not get ahead of myself. So today we have quite a few things to discuss. Um, There's something else I wanted me, but we're just gonna stick to what's on here because that's what we're just gonna do. So, a few weeks ago, my I was just chilling in the in the living room or whatever with my mom. You know, she was we watch a lot. Like my mom and I are like crime, true crime people or whatever, and so we. She had sent me, like, she'll, like, from time to, like, she'll watch videos of her and, like, kind of, like, sift them out. And uh, then she'll send me the ones that she thinks is, like, really good, you know? Because she, because, like, my mom, like, uh, like, she's, like, just, like, true crime all the way. Like, she'll, like, watch, just, like, keep watching stuff or whatever. But she knows that, you know, with school and everything or whatever, I can't, you know, I don't really, like, can't really like waste my time on cases that you know shouldn't think that I'll necessarily be interested in interested in but at the same time it's 
you know, my mom has sent me like an okay-ish uh, video or a true crime thing, and I'm like, mom, no, let's, we're not doing this. You you knew better than to send me that that true crime video. Like that's no. Mm. And so now she like sift through it, and then like she knows like kind of like my likings or like like the cases that I'm interested in or whatever. And so she'll send me, she'll make she may watch. Let's say five true crime videos or whatever, or like cases or whatever in a row. But she might send me three of the five that she watched because she know the watch ones I'll be more interested in. So I was uh, we're just chilling over. She was uh, watching her some videos or whatever. My sister was playing uh, her game and. I think honestly she was playing, she was probably playing like The Last of Us or something like that. Oh my goodness, The Last of Us. We'll, we will talk about that. I haven't finished it yet because my sister and I decided that we'd watch it together. And like we got, we have like two episodes left I think. Or like two and a half episodes. We was binging it and then, ciao. Our schedules, like I said in the last video, like sometimes it just don't mesh right. So I haven't finished it yet, but I will be doing a review on that series an amazing series so far that i watched chat you are noisy but um anyway an amazing an amazing show the last of us is anyway so she was probably playing her like i said probably playing the last of us part one or part two i don't know chow well i don't remember but I mean, obviously, I know about the games that she plays. Like, I've seen her play them, so I know the difference between the two. But I don't know which one she was playing at that moment. And, you know, I was watching one of the videos my mom had sent me. And, uh, I was like, oh, my God. Like, it's like, it was like, girl, is you, is you good? You know, again, I'm paraphrasing here. But... But my sister said, probably said something to the effect of, like, bro, what's wrong with you? Like, this is how we talk. And, like, sis, like, let's not act like sisters don't be calling each other bro and doing stuff like that. Like, it's a universal thing, okay? Universal thing, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. It's just like, bro, like, what's wrong with you, dude? And I was like, oh, my, like. I am feeling something in my in my chest. You know what I'm saying? Like this is like it's feeling a little funny. Like I'm like, oh my god. And it was like, girl. And my mom was like, you're probably it's probably like just a heartburn. I'm like a heartburn, child. I am. Oh, she said, girl. There's some. What she say? There's some ant acid, uh, ant acids or whatever. What is it called? Those those tablet thingies? I think that's what they're called. Hold up. Yeah, I think that's what they're called. Hold up. 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 Yeah. Yeah, and that's the tablet. Um, for some reason, I swear that she's called it something else. Um, but she, um, I said, a hard bird. She said, girl, with some antacids in my bag of whip. And so I said, I went into them. I was like, I was like, oh my God. Like, it's like coming on strong, child. And she said, I said, how many should I take? You know, of course I do. Like, if people, like, people know me or see me or just know me. And you guys have, like, got to know me, I would hope. But, I, like, I'm, like, I'm, like, out there, like, outgoing. Extra, like, I am, like most times completely extra and sometimes like completely over dramatic but it is what it is i'm like oh my god like how many should i take and she's like girl like she said like some number that she takes or whatever so i'm like so like i need to take like twice as many like this is like ridiculous like what like no but girl well i tell you i took one i mean yeah i started feeling better like, not necessarily, like, right that second, but, you know, eventually I was like, okay, okay. But, girl, I took one, I was like, how does people, how do people take more than one? Like, this is, no, chalky, this is, and it wasn't even, like, just, like, a, a plain flavor, like, it was actually flavorful, and I'm like, this is disgusting, like, I think I'm tasting sidewalk chalk right now. Like, this is, no, no, I'm like, I need to invest, I'm, I'm patenting an idea, like, 
No. Like, I want to be basically eating... I I hate sweet tarts and Smarties, but I, like, to a such a high level of how much I hate those types of candies, but I would rather eat a whole thing of those instead of that, like, one tablet. Like, no, I cannot. I will not. I will not. I was like, girl, I don't know. Harper is looking pretty good right now because these taste disgusting. I said, Mom, this tastes, like, really, like, chalky like and it's like it's not like i ate chalk but you know how you can see something you just know that it probably tastes like that like you like you see it and you taste it or you taste what you're seeing like no i taste what i was i may not ate some chalk but i'm tasting what i saw of chalk and that's not it i'm no and i was like mom normally like i don't like be doing this like I never get heartburn. Like, what is this? And you said, girl, you're getting older. Like, it's time to, like, it's like older. Like, no, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Now, I'm a, someone who I will just, whatever. Like, yes, I'm 21 years old, but girl, at 21, this is what I'm experiencing, y'all. No, this is not cute whatsoever. And then my sister, you know, it's, it's something about siblings, like younger siblings. Like, my, like my sister and I, are two years and seven months apart, right? Like, I can understand if, like, you know, there's a 10-year age difference or whatever, but most siblings, like, let's put it out there. Our siblings, who we are, like, maybe two to three years apart, act like we are the older sibling, are, like, ancient or something. Like, we're, like, just, like, so old. Like, there's just this, this huge egg gap, girl. We're literally within the same generation. Like, she was like, girl, you, I told you you're old, girl. You are getting so old. I'm like, what are you talking about, girl? Like, you may have been born in 2004, girl, but you move like you are 104. What are you, like, I don't understand what she is talking about. Like, I am 21. She is now 19 because she just had a, bir a birthday over spring break. Uh, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, and she just, she just turned 19. And I'm like, Girl, I'm older than you, but you move like you're like 10 million times or like what are you even talking about right now, girl? Like she be taking all kinds of stuff. She be have all kinds of she got back, knee, leg, arm, child, all these elements that she got going on with her is she over here clowning me for this one time one in a million time that I experienced a heartburn and she going to clown me. Like, like what is it? Like, I'm telling you, like, any chance my sibling gets, she, like, clowns me about my age, saying, girl, you are extremely old. Like, what? Chow, no, like, she needed, like, go on somewhere because I don't know what it is with these siblings that like I said it's two or three year difference I'll even go for it like acting like we are like 40 and they are tw like girl no what are you talking about but anyway oh in the last video in episode one of triple D time story time brand time Tuesday and maybe Thursday she you know, we talked or whatever. You don't remember, I ha if y'all remember, and if y'all seen the video, she had called me in the middle of when I was recording the video. And she said, why do you look like you have, like, makeup on or something? Like, like, when I tell you, it'd be your own family. Like, I've, like, I was, like, so, like, I can't just, like, look good, like, flawless, like, amazing. And she's like, oh, okay. I was like, really, Mom? Like, sometimes, like, well, I, it be your own family. I was like, now, Mom, she knows that I care not. I have no energy. I have no, like, will. Like, I don't care about, like, doing, the, like, every so often, or like on rare occasions, like I will like, you know, do the makeup and mascara or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like I'll do that like on pretty or like extremely rare occasions. Like the last time I put on makeup, like full on makeup and everything was when I did my senior uh, photos. Um, when I was in 
when I was getting ready to graduate. It was like during spring break, like that March of 2020, I did my senior photos and like my mom did my makeup and everything. That was the last time I actually did makeup. So it's been a few years. I'm like, mom, you know I don't be doing into that makeup stuff. So like what in girls and on going to class, like this is just regular folk. Like I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm definitely not gonna go all out for for some classmates that I've been studying. And so I was like, really? And so there's that. Uh, yesterday. I texted my sister at 11 something in the morning and I brought, and I said I had this thing where we have this relationship where she'll be like good morning or whatever and I'll be like you and that's excuse me and that's how like that's just how we we greet each other that's just like what we do like I mean some people may say it's weird and odd and like you know y'all act like y'all enemy or something but that's just what we do and so, I didn't get anything back. I, she didn't respond or whatever. And at nine something at night, she texts me or whatever and I'd be like, it's about time, like, hello, how, like, you clearly have your priorities all jumbled up. And she said, well, I had to use the bathroom. I said, you ain't been using the bathroom all day. Like, what do you, like, girl, siblings. And she said, I text you this morning. I couldn't last or go past 10 a.m. I was just so exhausted from work or whatever. I said, you did not text me this morning. like. I was the one that texted you, and it was 11 a.m. or whatever. I said, you better check your receipts, girl, because you did not text me. And then she said, yes, I did. Um, Ryan, stop, lady. Uh, I, text, I texted you on Messenger. I said, so that's a message. You did not text me. And I said, first of all, you know I don't be, like, going on Messenger and checking Messenger like that anyway. So, girl, why? And she knows this. I said, why would you send me a mess a text on Messenger? And you know that I don't really be like going on Messenger like that. Like that was just dumb. And I don't know, Chow. She said, she said, well, it still counts. I said, no, it don't. No, it don't. I don't know what you're talking about. That does not count. And then what else? That I want to say. Okay. I was searching up a video. Well, like a uh, particular haul. Um, for like a store or something like. But I don't want to say it yet because like it'll come up in a later video, and so we'll just go with that. But um. I, I was, I looked it up, and uh, I watched uh, this particular person's haul. I, I actually clicked on a few of these different types of hauls, but, um, well, two of these, like, the people that, I was like, hey, like, I'm my sis, like, not, like, interested, or, like, like, their, like, energy or, like, the way they're doing the haul is just not hitting me right. Or, like, I'm just not feeling it. So, then I'm just, like, go to another one. And so, like, I ended up, I watched this one person's haul. And, like, I was, like, really, like, interested. Like, I was, like, okay, this is a really good haul. And not necessarily, like, the stuff that they were saying. Like, I did, like, some of the stuff that they got from the, like, they did whatever they ordered or whatever. Yeah, but, like, um... I liked how they was presenting themselves and stuff like that, and I was extremely interested. So I watched that one person. I was like, okay, good. But so then I went to someone who was recommended underneath. Now I have, I um, then I clicked on this one. And it was a, a a nail haul from this particular store, if you want to call, it, if you will. 
And I was like, you know, I'm in the nails and I and like I feel like this could be really interesting because like they had got like over like a hundred items I think maybe from this chick girl. It was like really, really good. I was like, you know, I'm I'm just see, I'm I'm into like I don't like necessarily do like, but y'all know like I do my own nail like my own natural nails or whatever but i like seeing people like i don't do makeup but like or like i'm not into makeup but i like when people do like makeup tutorials or whatever and stuff like that hint hint but or like you know hairdresser reacts videos and stuff like that so i was like you know what i'll watch it I'm interested in nails, and I like seeing the creativity and what people bring and, like, all these, like, cool designs that people do. So, I'm like, let me see what they have to offer. Ryan. Let me see what they have to offer. And so, I click on the video, and I am, like, like right away, like, I'm like, okay, this is, like, really, really good. It's, like, you know, then I've, like, since that one haul video in, like, what they did within that video, I then started watching more and more of the videos. And obviously their videos is more concentrated around like uh, nail and uh, nail creativity and like just like nail content. And so, you know, I was, I like the person I started, you know, watching the video. Like it was like really entertaining to me. And I even actually liked them so much, I ended up subscribing to their channel. So. Like I said, just because I like one person's take or I'm interested in that one person's nail videos or nail content, it does not mean whatsoever that I want to see a whole bunch of right when I go on YouTube recommendations or whatever that I see nothing but nail content. Like, I'm like, I didn't, I just, I didn't just have like this, this a lightning moment or whatever like or like this wake up call chat like I'm like I am interested in 50 million other things but I look at a few nail content related videos from one individual and I'm just like flooded with I'm like I'm like I'm all for like watching other people's videos, but like at this moment right now, I am interested in this person. I like how they're presenting. Like I said, I like how they're presenting it. I like the the designs they do, and I like that they don't just stick with one um, nail, like type of nail. Like they do all kinds of things, and I've seen them do like challenges. Like I'm like this person is really interesting, and so just because I like this one person and. I'm interested in this content it does not excuse or mean to get rid of all other kinds of recommendations that I'm like 50 million other things that I'm into like I know it's like the YouTube alg algorithm child but what happened to like my cute puppy videos or movie trailers and stuff like I'm subscribed to all kinds of things I, I don't know I subscribe to one nail channel and I am just that's all I care about but anyway like I said that could just be me but I don't know um oh another thing and this is gonna go uh probably be like a pretty significant part of this triple t time story time rant time Tuesdays possibly Thursdays and Ryan, what are you doing? Oh, she's getting her robe. And I started to think, I started thinking, and my sister and I kind of had conversations about this about a week or so ago. And we were talking about like unnecessary classes. And now I know all of us in like especially in the college slash university world that yes, we feel like we're taking a bunch of unnecessary classes and we we really are. 
like probably 90% of the schedule has absolutely nothing to do with what we're actually going to school for, what our major is. So that, okay. Like, I'm not even talking about on that front. Um, or like high school, I'll leave that alone too, because there's a lot of unnecessary classes too, like I felt like we didn't need it. You know what I'm saying? But we'll leave that. But let's talk like middle school, right? I described in the last video how I went to one school district for elementary and I went to another school district for uh, uh, middle and high school. Um, the middle school that I went to. Now, I don't remember what specific grade it was however regardless of the grade it was i think it was still completely unnecessary we was forced to take um well no if you're just gonna chew my hand off then no. uh, an it class Was it? I think it's like an innovative technology. That's what I think it said. That was what Tango stood for. But regardless of what it was, it, it, IT. Like I said, regardless of the grade, we were told that we was had to take the class. And it didn't make any sense to me. Why are we taking an IT class? I I I know people say this a lot of the time, but. I really genuinely like I'm like I said I'm in college 21 years old so it's not like I'm like in the, the now where I'm just like oh this is so super bar like I'm like now older and I'm just and I'm now like kind of like looking back on things like why were our middle schoolers why were we taking an IT class I can honestly say there is absolutely nothing in that class that I remember there is nothing in that class that could that has had any use whatsoever in my life like it has it added absolutely no value all it added was unnecessary stress and uh, anxiety or anx anxiousness like that was a completely useless class like i absolutely there was nothing in that class that i could now apply to my life right now and I'm not just talking like, even just like schooling, like let's take away everyday life, like just like schooling, there's absolutely nothing that I can, there, I can't apply any of what I, like I would, there's no way I can apply that. And in that IT class, we had to do like programming and like writing, like writing codes and, uh, like do like three like be able to like build like 3d models of random objects that don't even exist like even just like building like making like even just a, a 3d circle by using grids and inputting in like information stuff and like using like whatever kind of paper that was graph graphing or whatever that crap was and like drawing like the 3d model of what we then had to input into the computer and then writing like building like not even like robots like weird mini machinery or robot kind of things and then putting in code or typing a code and making it do a certain thing like maybe go forward or go back it was all of that has absolutely no, there is no way I could apply that. I I was completely disinterested. And then like we had to work in like teams, but the teams wasn't just people within the classroom. There might be two to three people assigned in this classroom to, okay, let's say there's group one, right? But group one involves two to three people from period one, two to three people from period three, and then like last period is like me and two other people or just me and one other person. And that's all of group one. So whatever group one 
didn't get done. Uh, the second part of the group in the next period would take over and then whatever they didn't get done then that's where we would step in and build off of or continue doing what they did like it was just completely chaotic and then like there were some people who like like really knew what they were doing because that's what they were into that's what their hobbies was and or that's what their hobbies were and so it was like you know like they were just quicker at getting the IT part and like or whatever the case may be or you know they've previously like whatever the case may be they were just better at that uh at IT or like at program like you know what I'm saying like they were just better at the concept and stuff like that so yes it was like anxiousness and whatever feeling like you're not doing good enough or ever on your part but it's like the people that knew what they were doing was interested in this. It was like actually benefiting from this, but sometimes be paired with people like for me or whatever, and the person that I'm with, with people that had absolutely no idea what they were doing was completely like, didn't like lost in the sauce. So like, it wasn't fair to those people. And also it wasn't fair to, you know, people like me, you know what I'm saying? like. Yes, I got it enough to where, like, I could do what I could and we would get a good grade, but that's not the same as actually getting uh, useful information and be able to apply. And let's, okay, let's say, you know what, they can't necessarily do classes for 6th, 7th, or 8th graders that they could use in college. Like, but I mean, at least make it at least a little bit applicable, at least even in for high school. There was nothing useful about that class. I I still to this day like I'm I mean obviously I'm ranting about it. Like it was completely useless. Like there I mean the, the teacher was okay but no. I would not recommend that they keep that class. If they even kept it, um they need to get rid of it if they already got rid of it good job they should have got rid of it before i stepped in that piece because that was completely no it was stressful and there's absolutely no value in that like if you think that there's enough students interested in that make it more of like a after school or like or a club you know what i'm saying like you know like a act after school activity you know stuff like that you know because i'm pretty sure there was a lot of kids that was interested and actually enjoyed it like I'm saying like keep it as like a school club or school activity, but don't put it as a class that kids need to move on from the eighth grade to go on to high school. Or like, you know, like to have, you know, to be able to move on to your, the next grade or the next step. Like, I don't know. That's just my opinion, but let me tell you something. There was a heck of a lot more students in that class that despised that class or thought it was completely useless and there were kids that actually enjoyed it or found it useful regardless of situation it is not and with the crazy thing is in high school they have like intro to coding and stuff like that so like honestly that's good that they had it. i didn't have to take it because in high school you actually for the most part get to choose your classes and i stayed away from that because i hate coding i like honestly if i probably tried and like put effort in it like i probably would be decent at it but i have absolutely no interest like that is the dumbest thing ever for you to take make a sixth seventh or eighth grader take an it class in middle school like look i can't even say it's good for people to as kids to take it so that way because they could be prepared for it intro to coding in high school but intro to coding is not a required class in high school so why make a class of over 300 kids like i said like we have the, our graduating class is like over 300 kids or whatever 300 individuals uh but you you can't you should require a group of over 300 students to be forced to take that class 
for the hopes or the possibility that some of them are going to take the intro to coding class and then intro to coding two, three, you know what I'm saying, and so on and so forth. So, I don't know. That was just dumb to me. Um, another thing, music class. Okay, this kind of got me kind of a little bit thinking too because one of the assignments and one of the classes that I'm currently taking right now is kind of a look at music and like, it's like its use and stuff like that. I understand music classes or whatever being in elementary school. Heck, I had a ton of fun in my in music classes or instruction time in elementary school. That was the bomb. We had all kinds of things. We made all kinds of like instruments from like scratch, you know what I'm saying? Cardboard instruments. Like I had a ton it was like a blast doing that and like to like be you know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, being young, you're entertained by almost anything. So I obviously keep music and fun classes or whatever like that in elementary school. That's fine. Great. I completely support that. Just like in possibly elementary school too, but in uh, high school and college and things like that, you need to make music class optional in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Now, there was a band that's separate, and then there was chorus, obviously separate. And then I think it was like jazz band, separate, whole separate thing. I'm not talking about like extracurricular activities. I'm talking about making kids take like like I think I we took what was it like two? We had to take like I think like two music class. I don't know if I don't think it was the exact same thing because I remember. Whether it was seventh or eighth grade, we or even sixth grade, I don't know for sure. It was we had to uh, learn, and we were taught, you know, piano stuff or whatever. And then I think in eighth grade is when you got to learn and like play the guitar and stuff like that. There is a nothing from either one of those those class periods or whatever. Now, the teacher was amazing. I absolutely love that teacher. She was extremely amazing. She was always upbeat, always helpful, always like inclusive. Like she was a, an amazing teacher, but I hated that class also. I was not nowhere near interested in playing the piano. Even when I started getting good at it, I still was not interested. I thought it was a complete waste of time. I was like, oh God. Here we go with this class again. And then the guitar, no, not interested in that either. Like I said, even though I was getting pretty good, I, no. I still, I didn't take up the guitar, I didn't take up the piano. Uh, that was a complete waste of time as well. Uh, in, of course, uh, we had to be tested on it and tested for like, efficiency you know good time like all this like stuff i think that is completely useless information there is nothing about that class that i've been able now some people probably did like you know like oh my goodness like they probably did you know benefit from that they probably did find a they probably most likely did find a passion for the piano or for the guitar and like maybe they joined band or whatever kind of extracurricular music activity because you know the, the love that they got from like doing an actual class you know I'm not saying that but what I am saying is if you're all about creativity or whatever then make that an extracurricular activity say you know who wants to join piano club or you know who wants to join guitar club or whatever something like that or an instrument club you know what I'm saying like you know you have band and all this stuff, chorus, uh, or, you know what I'm saying? All this other stuff, but you you could make an extra, be an extra critical activity for those that necessarily, may not necessarily want to be in that kind of atmosphere, but in more of like a, a school club or activity kind of atmosphere like that, you know, make it a little less formal. You know, making kids take unnecessary class like this hold up y'all okay i'm back 
Um, had to take Ryan out or whatever. And I switched positions because the phone was going dead. The camera was going dead, child. Uh, anyway. Um. Yeah, so. It, it was... Sorry. Like I said, I'm not saying that they just should take out, remove the option completely. You know, what I am saying is make it, make the option available in a different way. Like, let me tell you something. There was a lot, like some of these people, uh, these uh, individuals are there, their life is sport. That's what they're interested in. Me, I was interested in like sports or I did instrument in elementary school for a little bit that's because you know my mom's rule has always been please get down Ryan Chad my my mom's rule has always been you know that uh you know we have to play an instrument being a sport or well at first it was always just you need to play either need to play an instrument or you need to be in a sport um, I had absolutely no interest in, uh, that's a lot. I used to want to play soccer. And then for some reason I had like a lot of like, I'm not going to say for some reason, but like, unfortunately, like, fortunately, unfortunately, however you, someone may look at it, I ended up having like a lot of like, like a few medical issues that like, in order for me to play or do the sports that I was interested in, those would have to be fixed or corrected or addressed in some way for me to continue doing that or to even start that. And, you know, that just ended up not necessarily going anywhere. And so, uh, which is a whole, I can say that talk a little bit more of that in the video because I have like quite a bit to say about you know some stuff related to that but um child that's how I know something's going wrong child because my body is like ex exhausted you know like I can't like my my parents my sister they work they work hours they have like pretty like you know I would say fairly physical jobs or whatever depending on the day my dad has a pretty physical job but you know whatever but my sister and my mom whatever, they do like a lot of like movements and stuff like that moving around so you know they act in like probably most people work for like they actually do us so like they say when they say they're tired or exhausted that really I they are not like when they say you know okay that's how sad it is i obviously i am an unemployed college student but you know it's a bad you know like they there's a lot of hate or like they clown me for like how is it that your generation has a job but you don't and you know like it's like a a, a joke no it's like a christmas a specific phrase it's a kind of a, I don't know, it's a, it's a joke or whatever around the house where it's like the fact that I I don't have a job where I'm on for the fact that, you know, I mooch and leech off of the parents and my sister and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's it's playful, you know. It's not like not necessarily like any malice or anything or ill will really behind. It's it's a, it's funny. I clown myself for being the only one right now that does that. I clown myself for that. So like it's it's funny. So don't take this the wrong way or whatever. But it's it's funny. So um, we it's so bad that the way we are the household work is. I, it's typically reserved for my parents and my sister to say that they're tired or exhausted. 
I am, when they ask me something related to that, they say, Kyra, you seem sleepy. Or something like that. So, yeah. But they, they don't use the word tired or exhausted when describing me at all or asking if I'm tired. They don't, they don't ask that at all. They say, are you sleepy, child? But honestly, I can't handle it for that because... It is what it is. Like, I go to some measly few classes and do some studying or whatever. They are actually doing labor and crap. You know what I'm saying? So they they get that, that description. Um, so, girl, you're getting hurt all over me. And so, but like going back, girl, I've completely went off track. But let's start backtracking a little bit. So, but... And this isn't my body. I'm going to use, even though I haven't really done much, like I haven't pretty much done, I walked to class, sat for 50 minutes, and then walked back here. And yeah, I took Ryan out a few times. But, um, Ryan, yeah. But I have not done anything to be exhausted or tired. I slept for, let's see, how long did I sleep for? My phone, because I wear like the smartwatch or whatever. My Galaxy Active 2 or whatever. Okay, I slept for about eight ish hours, seven hours and 57 minutes, so that's pretty good. Um, so I, I got pretty good rest. Like, it's like a hard feeling to explain. Like, I'm I feel well, well rested, but my body is exhausted. Like it's just tired, you know. So, so forgive. Like I was saying, or whatever, going when I was in the middle of a spiel. You know what I'm saying? Forgive me, or whatever. It's just my body is exhausted. My my brain is like kind of a little mush a little bit right now. Like it's. Unfortunate because like I like have a lot of crap to do. I have an extremely busy day. I have to do all of my regular school crap and then I have to do some more school crap. And then at about five for like about an hour I ha I'm uh, studying with um, somebody for the exam that I have on Monday in sociology and then at seven, I'm meeting a friend and we're going to go to like this like competition finals or concert or whatever. Uh, if you attend and you know, like write up some stuff or whatever you get, I think it's like 50 extra credit points. And like I said, why well, did I say this to you? But I said to my sister, I'm not, clearly I'm not feeling it. I'm doing pretty good, fairly well in the class, okay? But, I, you never know when you're going to need those extra credit points. So, like, even if when I have, like, 100% of the class, I'm like, why not have 106% of the class, you know what I'm saying? You never know when you're going to need those those extra points, you know, because there could be that one time where you think you did really good, but the you it wasn't the professor's vision that they had for the assignment when they assigned it. So, you know, they may not give you the points that you think that you deserve. So... I mean, 50 extra credit points, that's a lot of points. Um, so, I, I originally texted my mom earlier this morning and I was like, I feel like odd, like I feel a little strange. I don't know, I probably won't do the study session or go to the, do the extra credit opportunity, but uh, thinking back, I'm like, girls kind of buck up. It's, it's a, it's a, mini adult uh life hashtag that kind of life right now so like even though you may not feel well wherever this is real life you sometimes gotta do things when you don't feel well so this would probably be those one of the instances where i'm like i can't and i've already told these my friends or whatever that i would do the study session i already told them that you know we could go together to the extra credit thing so unfortunately it's like i am obligated to do it you know what I'm saying and like I said if I do start feeling like really like not good then I'm not going to but if I'm still feeling like 
semi pre okay for the most part like I am now that I'm just gonna go ahead and do it but anyway um, I was talking about instruments yes uh, so I was interested in sports at one time but nothing really came about that which was unfortunate for my dad because he was and my mom too they both did sports um, my mom did sports and she played instruments, so she was like, and she was in like school clubs and whatnot, so she was doing everything when she was a high school child. She was, she was interested in everything and she did everything and she did that, okay, while working, while going to school, you know what I'm saying? So, she did that. So she, like I said, originally it was when my sister and I were really young. Like elementary, middle school age, it was you will do either. Uh, in elementary school, she, as she was reading this, she said you always you needed to either be in a sport or an instrument, and I chose instrument, so I used to play the clarinet, both the clarinet and the violin. I hated both of those things. I hated going to practice. I hated putting like. Like, I feel like my time was better served doing everything but that. So, but the, the, the crazy thing is, like, the crazy thing about it is I was actually really good at the clarinet. Like, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm giving myself bragging rights. I was amazing at the clarinet. I ended up getting, uh solo um some solos and then you know i was able to then also do uh a duet with this other girl i'm not gonna say her name or whatever but i do remember her name like it was yesterday uh, obviously it wasn't yesterday but i'm saying like it was yesterday i just like that i remember her name really nice girl uh I ended up doing a duet with her at a concert, and she was um, really good oh, at her instrument, too. Uh, but I was really good. My mom was impressed. My dad, like, my whole family was extremely impressed with uh, how good I was doing with the clarinet and everything. But I absolutely hated it. And... So, while I was doing clear, and then the violin, like, I'm going to be honest with you, I was pretty good at the violin also, but I know I could have been amazing at the violin if I actually put, like, my heart and soul into it, if I practice when I was supposed to practice and putting in the extra time and effort I really would have been good at the violin and my mom you know like I said obviously we have had talks about you know my past interests or not interests stuff like that since obviously me being in uh elementary school but you know of course we've talked about it, but she has always said you know if you really was interested in doing it and you you know, did everything and you practiced like that, you would have been really good. I think that it would have been something, you know, you would have continued on to it, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't enjoy it. I half butted it. And I was like, Mom, I am not happy. I do not like doing this. And you know that I do not like doing this. This is like completely, I am disinterested. I, this is not, you know, it's like, this is no. And so, obviously, I said more respectful manner. And, like, when I was talking to my mom, I think I even, like, cried and stuff like that. Like, I felt like I had disappointed her because, you know, she had to play an instrument. You know what I'm saying? When you're a little kid, you know, you want to do the things, some of the things that your parents did. And, you know, when you see your parents' eyes light up when, you know, you're doing something that either they did or was related to something that they did, you know, you start to feel, you know, a little bit, like, compelled to like those things that they like, especially when they when there's, like, you know, a connection there. But I was like, Mom, this is not, 
I'm not happy doing this. This is, you know. And so eventually then she said, okay, well, you don't have to play an instrument. And I, like I said, with the sports thing, eventually when I could probably have played sport, I didn't want to. Oh, going back. Yes. Like I said, it was probably hard on my dad also because he was a sports fiend. He was good at every sport he did, chow. He was amazing. And he would have loved, especially he has a love for basketball. He would have... Like, trust me, if I did basketball or whatever, he would be all on it, girl. He would... Everything. So, you know, we always had jokes around, like, Dad ended up with... Uh... The fact that he didn't end up with any boys, and on top of that, he, you know, he got two girls, and not just, you know, one just didn't do sports at all, you know, like, let's take out the basketball, didn't do sports, period, not just one daughter didn't do sports, both daughters didn't do sports, period, at all, and I'm like, girl, he really got the short end of the stick, but, uh, Neither of the girls was interested. My sister nor I really was interested. Well, my sister's not really interested in, like, anything like that. Like, you know, I mean, I'm going to keep going on this rant, too. Uh, some things changed. As, uh, what do you call it? Uh, older sibling. We were always, I was, we were always taught you had to be a sport or an instrument. But my mom seen what I was given to her is she took what she, what I was given to her and she made something. She said, okay, you're not going to do a sport. You're not going to do an instrument. But then you need to at least be involved in school activities. And so I got involved in, especially in high school, child, I got involved in every activity that I could, child. Not only did I, in freshman year, my mom was like, it's okay. You know, it's freshman year, high school or whatever. But sophomore year, you know, let's begin you involved in some stuff. So, yeah. Who? Uh. Was it? Uh. Girl, I was in every sing, almost every. I, I was in as many things that I was interested. Uh, <laughs> in being in child. Girl, get down, child. Um, no, get off of me. And in sophomore year. You know, obviously, you know, you go through sophomore or like a year of doing the club or whatever. And then obviously, you know, close to the year, they have to elect or, you know, have an election process for who's going to be like the president, vice president, and treasurer and stuff like that of those clubs. I worked my butt off and made such a like impact or whatever in all those, in a bunch of clubs that I was in my sophomore year that when it came to election time, I ended up, at the end, when it was all said and done, I ended up being president of two clubs. Um, I was the president of Key Club, I was the president of Eco Club, and then we didn't really necessarily have an election, but I was able to pretty much to be the, not necessarily the president or leader or whatever, but like at least the head person, if you, would say, if you will, of this club um called teens against human trafficking that my health teacher was like the uh i don't know what you call it but obviously you know teachers have to be behind the club or whatever and have to basically babysit the students so um what do you call it now could I have been, uh, what the heck? I said, they were like, find like marks on your body, chat, and you'd be like, chat, oh, I can only imagine how that got there. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I ended up being the chow. Like, what do you want from me? Uh, of that club so like I was like the head if you will of like three clubs at that point mind you it was my first year in any of these clubs and I was 
literally at the time, like I said, only a sophomore, like obviously I would have been here that following year, but you know, a sophomore at that time. And I was like doing the thing, you know, like I said, bragging rights. <laughs> and okay, again, going a little bit even further off of what my original point was, which hopefully I remember it. There was this one dude, and he was like me. He was in like pretty much all the clubs also, but um, he was like a junior going to a senior year, or no, 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 was he? Or like he was a senior and like he, he was graduating that year or whatever. And so, um, Key Club, I was met on Tuesdays, and then Eco Club met on Thursdays, every other Thursday or something like that, and, um, so I think, like, I ended up having that, the Key Club first, and, you know, we obviously, you know, you get, you, when you're, running for president or whatever you're doing, you give your spiel and that's, that is what it is. And then each person gives their spiel and then like people vote. And so, you know, it was announced at that club meeting right then and there that I was the president of Key Club for the following year. And then, uh, Everyone was like, yay, you know, congratulations and stuff like that or whatever. And now, mind you, this individual was super happy and he said, you know, like, you know, like normally, you know, people who are this young or whatever, like in the spirit, they don't normally get this far, but like this is amazing or whatever. And so I was like, cool. You know, hatch for me or whatever. And so we fast forward to the meeting for Eco Club. You know, like all the clubs were pretty much like doing their elections and stuff like that around the same time. And we do the vote and I end up obviously getting elected as the president of that club. Well, everyone else's wish is congratulating me and stuff like that. Because honestly, I was like, you know, I'm just going to go for everybody. Honestly, at that, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't think that I was going to be able to be president of that club or the other club. Because I feel like people had, some of the people had have more of like a bigger presence or a bigger personality than me. So I thought that they probably would have been able to garner more votes because of that. But you know, like, yes, I was extremely involved with that. Because, like, you have to be extremely involved. You have to, like, basically, like, have, like, an amazing attendance. Not just necessarily to, like, the club meetings, but to, like, the club functions or, like, uh, booths and stuff like that that we, that we would run over the course of the year. So I had everything like that, but I didn't think that I had the, the presence to, uh, like, I don't think my presence necessarily shined as much as some of the other people. So I thought that that was, you know, I could try. But I mean, like, you know, like, what's a failure but a try, you know? So, um, anyway, he goes to tell me that, you know, it's actually very interesting that, you know, you're president of two clubs, but at the same time, you know, and like, yes, you are like, you know, fairly younger than most people, but also, you know, typically seniors don't normally vote on who becomes uh, next for who becomes president or whatever. They don't normally vote for who does that. And so this voting was like kind of odd, but you know, I mean, hey, I'm glad that you got president. I'm like, why is, you know, mind you, I think he was also president of, he was president of a, quite a few clubs, actually. He could have also been president of the student I don't know for sure, to be honest with you, but he, you know, was president of quite a few. I know he was president at a uh, key club, and I'm pretty sure he was also president of Eagle Club at the time also. 
But obviously, I don't know if he was in his feelings or intended. I'm like, you're a senior. Why do you, why are you telling, I don't know if he was upset because, you know, throughout the course of, you know, the club or whatever, you didn't get to know your fellow members or whatever. So he had obviously previously told people that, you know, he became president, you know, didn't become president of these clubs until, you know, senior year or something like that, like much later. So I'm like, is he upset or in his feelings that I missed? come so far only being a sophomore like is, is he seriously upset when he's literally graduating or gonna be done with high school in like just a few days like is he is like is this a serious like issue that he's having right now like who says that to somebody you you need to come with that same energy that you if honestly you would think that he was running for president too. Like, girl, you're leaving in a few days to go off to uh, college or wh or whatever you're. Well, obviously, he probably wasn't going off to college at that point. But you're you're leaving high school to then go enjoy your summer and work or whatever, so then you could start college in the fall. Like, why? I don't understand why he came with that energy, but it is what it is. But I was so like, like, why is he like going like so hard for everyone else? Like, man, even the people that actually was running was like, you know what, good job or whatever. Um, you definitely gave a much better speech or like, you know, dang it, you know. It was a tough competition or whatever, but honestly, like, I... Uh, if I was money, I probably would have voted for you. You know what I'm saying? So, like, stuff like that, like, whether it's true or not, you know, you say things or whatever, and you hype that person up, and you give them their props for winning. You don't go up to them and say all this stuff, like, yeah, we usually... How you know what we usually do if you wasn't even president until just this year, child? Like, how you know how all that process works if you wasn't even a part of the process of the other three years that you wasn't even in the, like, I was so like, girl, now you just blow a smoke child, but I don't care. Uh, I did it better than you. I did it sooner than you. And I'm going to be here still when you leave. And I'm going to be running things because that's how it is. Uh, like, I'm like, you, you're, you're acting more like as if you was running against me, child. You, I don't know. It didn't make any sense, so, which is interesting because when we did the voting, um, they, like, I think, like, kind of, like, around senior year, it kind of, like, just, like, there was hardly any meetings or whatnot because, you know, obviously last year there was COVID and stuff like that, so... But we did, I don't think we even did a, a, an election, to be honest with you. I think it was just, it just carried over to, it was still me being the president. But like I said, around that time, the club started kind of like falling apart, if you will, because I don't know, there's people, there was interest, people got busy. And then, like I said, it was hard to have meetings when there were snow days on a lot of meetings. And it was also hard to have meetings when, you know, COVID took place. So like I'm saying, like, I don't know if that club still like exists. Maybe it does. I, I mean, I. It's cool if it actually did uh, take off again, and you know, people are doing it again. Oh my goodness, that teacher that rant was amazing. Also, um. But so yeah, so going back to the point that I was trying to make before. It was sport, instrument, or club. My sister did none of those things. And she might be like, girl, I was in the club. Girl, you was only in the club or was only at the school club meeting because mom wasn't going to make two trips and pick you up and then come back 
an hour or so later and then come pick me up. So that's why she told you you had to go. But mind you, while we was there, she would just be like clocked out. She might be looking at her phone or whatever. So, you know, like, you know, like as a, as a key club member, you had to pay like dues or whatever. But, you know, technically she wasn't a key club member. She would just be there. So, you know, obviously they didn't have to make her pay dues or anything like that, but, you know, everyone, it was just like, you know, oh, it's Kyra's sister, but it wasn't like, she, she was the, the silent key club member. She, you know, so she had to do a lot of the things that we had to do in the key club because she was there. Well, she didn't have to, but it was kind of like, you know, I mean, if you're here, you might as well, like, chip in or help out. And so, like, she did the thing, but trust me, when mom would be like, hey, you know, I'm have to run by this, run past her. Anybody want me to pick you up? She'd be like, absolutely, yes, ma'am. Yes, please, and come and get me. I am tired of being with your first child. Like, this is it. It is past 3.30. Well, actually, no, we got a slide at 3.10. She said it is past 3.10. I am only legally required to be here until 3.00. 10. I don't want to be here no more. I am hungry. I'm tired. I am sleepy and I want to do everything but be in this building any longer. And so sometimes mom would be like, uh, would like, you know, like, be like, okay, I'll come pick you up. So, uh, then, oh, I was also part, I was part of a lot of clubs, but I wasn't like president of that other club. But I'll do it that like, hmm. Um, but anyway, yeah, going back to like, the original, 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 original point. <coughs> Pardon me. Lord have mercy. This is probably watery as heck. I mean, maybe you can stir it up a little bit. Anyway, uh, I, I don't want people to be like, well, I have found evidence or like, I remember in an earlier video you said you were in an instrument, so how, are you playing an instrument, so how can you say, you know, that they shouldn't, like I said, back to like the points that I've been trying to make, make, if you want to make it an option, make it an option where it's not forced upon other students like you can't like again i'm saying you cannot justify making a whole class of over 300 people like i said each graduating class is over 300 people so whatever you can't make a whole student body eventually take these music classes on the possibility that they might be interested in continue playing it like you like there was no way to justify it like i said i'm not in middle school right now so i'm not saying it from a place of oh this is stupid oh god music class whatever i have to do this, this is so stupid i'm not saying it from a place of actually being that i'm saying i'm now seeing it from a place of being an outsider being 20 some years old and seeing it for what it was it was uh, a waste of time like there are so many other different classes that you could provide that is not like like I said obviously you want to you know expand children's creativity and hone in on that in elementary school I get that keep those music class music classes this is like like that's like keep those i understand keeping that they're young you know they don't know what they like or whatever what they're interested in this could be like a setup which is why they have chorus band and all that stuff in middle school like like cool that's what they're supposed to do like you know like introduce like different instruments or whatever and like that might pique a child's interest but forcing it upon students giving a grade for it and stuff like that is not 
beneficial, what's I don't think it's beneficial. Maybe there is a bunch of other studies that proves this otherwise or whatever, but they obviously haven't met me and include me in the survey because those numbers would clearly be a different story when they interview me and say, do you, no, I do not, on a scale of one to 10, how beneficial do you think it is? Not even on the scale and I'm talking because it's like negative five of how beneficial I think it is. Um, but anyway, like I said, that's a whole nother, uh, let's see, is there anything else? And, you know, I feel like people could argue, well, there's cooking class in middle school that, well, at least at my middle school, you had to take, uh, it was, it was not, it was called home ec in my parents' generation, but it wasn't called home ec in our school. I don't even know what it was called. Huh. Hmm. I don't know what it was called, but it, it was my parents' generation version of home ec. Uh, and there we learned about like, okay, I don't know why we was learning about like child development, like and stuff like that. I mean, because like we were having like the sex talk in there, but it was kind of like, I don't know. Like, I'm like vaguely remembering some of the stuff that we was talking about during that kind of unit. Um, some of it was like, I think like, we're like some of the unit involved talking about like, like what ages and then like how to discipline uh babies or children you know or toddlers or whatever when they're at like behavior or something i don't know that could probably be on the list of things that was useless information to learn in middle school i i could see that in high school obviously you know like i said you get to pretty much choose well more or less choose what classes you want to take in high school. So I did take like child growth and development is what it was called in like classes like that. Um, you know, again, that's a choice. Now it's like an interest that, which is interesting that I, it started off as just like, oh, uh, it's probably an easy class, you know, like I'm sort of interested in this, but which I'm kind of going on a, like another little rant too. Uh, I also took a housing and interior design class because I was interested in that kind of stuff and I used to want to be in real estate and business. So I was, cause I was like all for watching Property Brothers. HGTV was my TV network. I didn't want to watch none else but HGTV. And so, I, uh, which is crazy how like subconsciously how that worked out. Obviously, I'm not going to school for that or I'm not doing that now. I actually am going and trying to get to a point where I am, like I said, a ped surgeon and stuff like that. So it's crazy how I ended up doing, you know, one of the things that I sort of took an interest in uh, in high school. Again, that's all about choices and things you're possibly interested in. We are not interested in how to... to discipline a child that is five years old and misbehaving in middle school we that does not apply to us child we are still children ourselves what are you talking about discipline children we're not that far off from a five-year-old um but more or less it was a it was an easy class and simple and it was an easy going class and it also could be because of the teacher and how she uh taught the material so useless but it was interesting but but that's because i'm interested in interested in it but like i said you can't justify what a few children might be interested in at from sixth to eighth grade against a whole student body so i don't know
Like I said, I don't need to come from like an unbiased standpoint. I don't like doing with dealing with instruments and stuff like that, so that is an unnecessary class. But I gotta show the same kind of love and unbiased opinion towards that class. I was interested in it, but it is an unnecessary class and not in in an unuseful class at that. Uh, there was a cooking, we, it was like a, the unit on cooking, um, and I can say, this, I wasn't really all that interested in the, I mean, I thought it was fun, you know, to work with your friends and everyone be goofy in like a kitchen setting and like, you know, like, be like, you know, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like that was, it was fun. But look, like I said, looking at unbiased, I would say that that is probably one of the more useful classes that we had to take in middle school because, like, we was learning how to cook, like, basic stuff. Like, one of the things that we cooked was stir-fry and, uh... And like rice and stuff like that or whatever like it was a whole like thing or whatever and so stir fry is probably not the most like everyday like meal or whatever that a, a child especially middle school might want to cook or might need to cook but I feel like even just like the basic of learning how to make rice is actually very useful you know, as, as in middle school, I mean, you're you're at that point, you're probably cooking most of the time, like a little bit. You're starting to cook for yourself a little bit more than obviously when you were in elementary school. But just having the basic of making rice, and, you know, making sure it's not sticking to the pot, making sure that it's actually cooked all the way, and it's not like hard as rocks or something. Like that is like some basic stuff, and which is crazy because a lot of people in my generation, a lot of college students do not know how to make rice or like noodles or whatever or like like food like like I don't even know if uh, some of them like some of them don't even know how to like boil water you know what I'm saying so that is useful I would say that that is a more useful class because you can now I can apply could be to cook rice to my life right now Hold up, I got a notification child. What is this notification? Uh, crap. Uh. Uh. So, and like, I think there was like some other units within that class. Like there was like an, an interior design or whatever element to that. Yes, I was extremely interested, and that was one of the parts of the class that I really, really enjoyed. But that's also, like I said, got to be unbiased here. That was a completely unnecessary unit to have in a middle school. In middle school. Uh, another unit was like, like plant life or like taking care of plants or like being able to plant. Um, I'm not a big outside, I'm not this a, a grass, bug, dirt kind of person, but I'm gonna I'm try to be unbiased here and still in saying that I don't, let me say it this way. That is kind of a toss up. I feel like there is some benefit to learning just how like the basis the basics of just planting just a, a simple plant like that I feel like can add a little bit of value just like knowing a basic understanding of that but I like for the most part for the overall idea I don't really see that being like especially since nowadays especially with this generation you know yes we want that you know, plants to like liven up our space, you know, give it that, you know, decor feeling or whatever. But most of the stuff we're not, we can't just be planting in the, in, in a garden. We, we, 
we don't have the resources or the the money to be doing all that kind of stuff and you know we want we're apartment living and even for now apartment living we we are not going out there planting stuff like that we're going to the store we're going to menards we're going to the walmart we're going to home depot i think lowe's is planted. You know what I'm saying? We're going to the stores to get the plants already potted and everything to take it home and to leave it indoors. And then we water it when it says on the instructions or if it don't come with instructions or things we're looking, we're typing in the characteristics of the plant and then based on the characteristics and what Google has said, we're basing it off of that on when to plant. And then in the midst of that, we're forgetting to plant, I mean, forgetting to water the plant. And the plant at that point is already dead by the time we realize that we should be watering the plant. Or um, we get too lazy and the plant just ends up dying anyway. But we take that plant, we throw it away, and then we go to the store and get another one. So I mean... I don't know has some beneficial kind of thing but for the most part I mean at this point we're if we really want to know how to plant something we're going and we are googling it and slash you know googling it and then clicking on the YouTube uh, web thing or if we have the app already ready to go we just gonna click on the app and then type how to plant you know Uh, a rose or a daniel i don't know but that's how it is um uh, art classes in middle school sixth grade sure seventh grade can draw I do like projects and like crafts on my own you know what I am interested in doing and things like that but I am not going I don't really want to be graded on my artwork I uh, and then in high school we was you had to take like these specific art classes like I think it was like introduction to art whatever it is ah, probably more technical name than that but I gain nothing from doing any of the artwork that I did in uh, that art class. Again, but I mean, it's a requirement, so it is, but it's, I don't think that should have been a requirement. Uh, it should have been left up as a choice. But you know, you there's like a pool of different things, but I don't think that requiring kids to take an art class or some sort of artistic creative class to graduate high school should I think that's completely unnecessary um but you know I took like I said art is not necessarily just drawing but it does involve photography and woodworking and pottery and stuff like that I took uh what was it Photography one and two. Obviously one was probably like introduction to photography or something. I don't know. But I took photography, two classes of photography, whatever they were. And I enjoyed it. I mean, did I enjoy girl Photoshop? Girl, if I take a fall and it looks amazing, there is no reason for me to learn how to do Photoshop. I, there is absolutely, like, what am I, no. This is not a hobby. This is, I'm trying to get a grade for this and pass this class so that way I can say, oh, those are the credits and then I can move on, child. Photoshop, I hated Photoshop. Uh, my friend, okay. There's like so much I can get into with that. But this video is already extremely long. 
So, I'll save it for uh, Triple T Time, Story Time, Rant Time Tuesday for next week. But let me write this down because I'm going to forget. Especially with my brain being mush, I'm definitely going to forget. So, I better write this down. Okay. Photography. Photoshop. And then I'm gonna add in that too. Cause that in itself is a discussion. But um yeah. So it is what it is. Also, before I can why is uh at least for my high school you had to take what and my mom said this too, so I think it's a class support. Government and economics. I was amazing at both. I got an amazing grade on both of them. But, excuse me. I find that both those classes are completely useless. Economics, not as useless as government to me. Because economics, you know, at least the teacher that I had, he talked a little bit about, you know, uh, obviously the economy, or whatever, but, you know, like, uh, what do you want to call it? Um, like, he would talk a little bit about buying and like, for example, you know, what is, you know, more reasonable as far as, like, my, like, it's hard to explain whatever, because, well, economics is, it, it, it's confusing in itself for what they're really trying to get across to you, but that is not as useless as government. I know nothing more than before or during I took uh, government. There's absolutely nothing more that I know. Like, I learned absolutely nothing with it. And honestly, the things that I probably did learn at the time, I completely forgot. Like, there is the no. Same thing with this uh, government class that I took at Barry. Amaz amazing professor, but I remember absolutely nothing that was taught. Like, like y'all do realize that when students, unless you are actually going into that career or field or you're interested in that nobody is interested in what you're talking about it is going i'm telling you it's not even going in one ear after the other it's stopping at the ear like it's going like like you know what they say in one ear at the other no it's like it's going that's what it's doing child no no he 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 my professor knew right when he was giving us the the exams and quizzes and stuff online, okay? Because I'm telling you what, I, there was uh, in making in making it uh, open note because let me tell you something. During the actual stuff, I was learning absolutely nothing. I I was typing in the information and what he had on the slides in in the, the lecture and what he was talking about, but it it did. Unfortunately, it was even though I typed, it wasn't translating to my brain. You know what I'm saying? Uh. It's just. I don't know. It's a it's a it's a preference, but child, I have got on this rant time for quite some time. 
I should probably eat. I should probably keep up my health or whatever to try and get through whatever this is, this fluke or whatever is like happening right now so that way I can, you know, also make sure I'm productive today because I, like I said, I have a lot of crap to get done and I have a lot of crap to do later. So I need to get going on the plan, maybe take a nap, but I don't know, like I said, it's like those, one of those things where like your body is just ex like exhausted and it's just tired and you know, you could sleep some more, but it's not like, you know, when it's just some regular day and you're just sleepy, you take a nap and you feel energized or you feel like your battery has charged back up. This is like, you could overcharge this battery, this, this, this being right here and it still won't do nothing. But I will see you guys. I hope you guys, Lord child, here we go, enjoyed this video. I know I'm looking like not amazing, especially considering my last video where I was looking pretty smexy. But that's okay. Uh, I hope you guys liked this video. Remember, uh, like, share, subscribe, uh, comment down below. Uh, I take suggestions, even if it's not necessarily a suggestion on like some other video to do some other time during the week, even if it's like a suggestion to, or a topic to bring up uh, within oh, the uh, Triple T Tuesdays or Thursdays, uh, I would be happy to include that in there. Well, actually, I will say this one thing before I go. My last video, I mentioned the fact that my, the family dog of almost 15 years, uh, we had to put him down or whatever. And you probably kind of was like, she does not seem sad at all. And it was, this happened like, what, like a week or so ago? Yeah, we, it started off as a good sibling relationship, but uh, we, uh grew apart we we did not i did not like that dude he did not like me we was constantly uh arguing and going at it you know he clearly was the problem in this sibling relationship clearly i was never the problem and he was always in the wrong and he always wanted to square up with me so eventually i was like you want to try and go up like for real and you know, he the way he would look at me sometimes, it was like he was really trying to fight. And I'd be like, girl, you can barely stand up to walk and go outside and use the bathroom like the dog that you are. Like, you want to really try to fight me, you know? So, you know, like I said, it's been he was almost 15 years old, so we wasn't really like that. So I mean at the to me, when we put him down, I did cry. I was sad for a little bit. Well, I won't say I was sad for a little bit. I cried when we was in the room and like, you know, then like, you know, the the vet came in or whatever. And um, I, when they were saying, cause like they came in and said, you know, I'll give you guys some time or whatever. And then they left out and so then we like, I cried for a little bit, like for like about a minute maybe. And then like I dried my tears and then like I was giving him treats and stuff or whatever. And then when they came back and they was like, well, you know, like if you guys are ready, we know you guys don't want to stay for any of it. And we're like, yeah, we don't want to stay for any. We want, don't want to stay for this. Day. We don't want to stay for any of that. And so we left him with him still like wagging his tail and like, like uh enjoying a treat you know what i'm saying and that was i as we were leaving out of the room i started crying and like the people there like at the front desk like i'm so sorry guys like this is because no matter how much it happens or you know or like maybe like you're just you know, you're even though you're working at the, your receptionist or you're working at the front desk, as bad of a day that you're having, it's it can kind of put your your yourself into perspective and be like, 
I'm having a bad day, but they're literally putting down a family member. Like, that was like, you know, because it was kind of like, kind of like a little bit standoffish a little bit when we first walked into there, but then like my sister was crying. I was crying a little bit or whatever as we were walking out of the vet to go to the car and they was like I am really sorry guys like this is like not fair to you guys I really do it but like you know what I'm saying like that was big bullying but we was like my sister and I just wanted to get out of that place girl we like if they was watching us we heard you well I heard you and I appreciate you saying that but we was not trying to hear that girl and then I got in the car I may have shed another tear but then I was like making jokes and cracking jokes with my dad mm -hmm. you know my dad was like closest to uh coda and mind you if you guys was getting confused coda is the the family dog that we put in case y'all are getting confused i am yes i'm talking to him like he's like an actual person but that we treat the dogs that we have or whatever as basically people like we we have full-on conversation with them like her i tell her we are not doing whatever you think it is that we're doing and she'll like throw a tantrum and I'll be like, you thought you was about to th throw a tantrum. You will sit in the corner, okay? You know what I'm saying? So like, or like, she'll be like, girl, it's time to get up, girl. It's time to like, get to moving. We need to run like five miles. And I'm telling her we ain't doing nothing that whatever you were thinking, you need to rethink it. Well, I'm about to do is I'm about to go pee and I'm about to eat me a bowl of cereal or something. So I'm eating, you could run around the apartment if you want to but I am not doing that I know like I love exercising and I exercise do like a lot of exercising but her exercising is not normal with people exercising that is some uh what do you call it like crazy crazy kind of exercise that that that's a whole another level of exercising that she be trying to do but anyway I was cracking jokes with dad ever and my sister was kind of like just like kind of sitting in the back, you know, being kind of quiet. Ever like, girl, we know that you was a little close to, but you was, you know, throughout his last years, year or so of life, you was like, girl, you start having the same relationship that we did, that Cody and I had. Like, what are you talking about? I mean, like, obviously it wasn't as bad. Where like he was always trying to pick a fight with me, but girl, and she was like, you know, why can't you be sad? You know, like I'm like, girl. It, because my dad was closer, the fact that he was, like, trying to, like, and he hates seeing us cry. He absolutely, he hates seeing uh, any, like, of, uh, like, like, me, my sister, my mom, like, women, whatever, like, crying, like, really sad. Like, he hates seeing it. You know, like, not, like, in a bad way, but because he's, like, he doesn't want, like, a... Uh, I don't know, like, he just doesn't like to see that, you know, it makes him feel some kind of way, and he's always trying to, like, cheer us up when we're sad, you know, which is, like, that's so sweet that he always tries to, like, cheer us up, like, even, like, I'm not feeling good, or, like, I'm, like, feeling, like, really down or whatever, like, he'll, he'll, like, go out of his way to make me feel better, like, it's just, it's just, and so, I'm like, dad is literally cracking a joke, and, like, like livening up the mood and of course I am a person where well first of all I did not like that dude he did not like me so like those tears it was like did not last very long but also because I'm like a a happy go lucky like joyful per I am the glass half full type of person you know that's my personality all the time so it's you know, especially in, like, this kind of instance is, like, I mean, and, like, the fact that dad was, like, having that energy, I'm, like, yes, I must match. Hello, I must match that energy. He used to have the energy that I was, that I want to have right now, but, you know, I'm trying to be respectful, you know, to the, to the relationship that he had with Coda and the relationship that Kiara had with Coda. But he was cracking jokes too, so I'm like, I am joining in because if the person who was the closest and who loved him the most isn't responding like this and reacting like this, then I am too, child. And my sister was still like, kind of like being sad. I'm like, girl, you need to get over that. Like, yes, you should have the time or whatever to, you know, express it, but, you know, doesn't like seeing people cry. He's trying 
very hard and he's like cracking jokes and like being smiley and stuff like that so that's what you need to do girl like you need to like buck up and stuff like that and so you know she was like okay you know and then we get to the house and you know, we talked about because mom didn't come with us because she you know she was sleeping because she had to work or you know she also had got off of work that morning so you know she's a, she's a doc she needs to sleep and um the time that they had was the only time that we could get in so i mean we kind of had to go with what was available and uh what do you call it uh we ended up actually getting some food girl when i tell you her tears was gone so quick girl because we ended up getting because we were hungry so we got b box and McDonald's fries, yes. We got b Buzz and McDonald's fries. And, um, because I don't know if y'all know this, but at least here in Iowa, we, well, I don't know if it's like across the board, but b Buzz on Saturdays and Sundays has their, uh, their singles, their, their burgers or whatever, their singles for, what is it? It's like really like cheap. Like normally you spend like eight, nine dollars on it like throughout the regular week, but on Saturdays and Sundays, their singles go for uh, a really, really low price. Hashtag not sponsored, but something y'all might wanna consider. Anyway, uh, so it was, was it Saturday? Yes, it was Saturday and you know, girl, as soon as we got home, she was trying, she was ready to open that bag and grub chow. She, I was like, so Kiara, are you so sad about, you know, our brother? She said, well, yeah, I am. I said, girl, you sad because we're, I'm holding up your food, chow. Talking about, she's still sad. She's like, well, I mean, I still have feelings for him. Like, I'm sad too, but I'm also really hungry, girl talking about she is girl no one needs can come in between i keep saying girl peeps okay because obviously there's all different genders and you know but peeps girl sorry child peeps no offense coda but I mean, as you've probably seen from heaven, because all dogs go to heaven. Uh, sister over here completely forgot about you. She was all up in and in love with that burger and fries. But anyway, I said I was gonna leave. Okay, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below, turn on your post notifications so you guys get notified every time I post anything on YouTube. And remember, I hope you guys are having a great day. Remember, if not, that's always okay too. But I'm always over here hoping that your day turns around for you. And I will see you guys next time. Uh, we'll see what kind of video is going to be next time. I don't know if a, a different kind of video might come before the next uh, Triple D Time Story Time Random Time Tuesday. But if not, I will see you guys on Tuesday. Girl. Child, she needs to be doing anything. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.